All right, we will be talking about environmental biotechnology. There are many different branches of biotechnology. All have their own ideas and goals, but we are only focusing on environmental. The general goals of environmental technology. Well, we want to improve and clean the environment. We are trying to obtain sources of energy that can be altered and reused to the benefit of us. So our goals are to use biomass production more frequently, to remove pollution, and generate renewable energy. Focusing a little more on biomass production, biomass is a fuel that is developed from organic materials. It is a renewable and sustainable source of energy. For example, waste residues as scrap wood and manure and forest debris. There are very there is a very common form of biomass production which could be known as a fire pit. The benefits. There are several reasons why environmental biotechnology is important. Not only does it encourage people to live a healthier lifestyle for themselves and the environment, but it also creates a better understanding of the world's environmental needs. With this knowledge, people could choose the that people could choose better options such as using biodegradable products, reducing their own waste, paying more attention to the little things that make a big impact like recycling. With a better understanding of bioremediation, which I will explain in greater detail later, people will begin to make informed decisions about the environment. Environmental welfare. The four major environmental welfare benefits are, as listed, bioremediation, which is the use of microorganisms to break down environmental pollutants, which I again will be discussing in more greater de- in greater detail. There is the biomarker, which is a measure for chemically for chemical damages in the environment. There is bioenergy, which is just a renewable energy, otherwise known as biomass, and biotransformation, which is the last steps used to ensure every pollutant has been filtered out. All right, what are the methods used? There are many methods used to achieve our goals, such as biotechnological tools, which would include treating waste before and after being brought into the environment, biological treatment, and biosensors. These cool gadgets can detect any presence of biomolecules. This can most, most commonly be seen with medicine, but can be used in many other ways, such as finding pesticides and harmful substances in our water. However, there are more common methods used to achieve our goals. We can use bioremediation and biomass conversion. Bioremediation. When used correctly, can be broke, can break down tons of pollutants in our environment. First, you take samples at the contaminated area, then take it back and find microorganisms that break down these pollutants. Next, you remove all the contaminated substance and purify it. How you purify it is mixing in all the microorganisms that effectively remove the pollutants. Once this is done, it can be safely restored to the environment from which it came. Biomass conversion. This is just as it sounds, converting biomass into more useful forms of energy. Biomass is a fuel developed from organic materials and used to create electricity or other forms of power. In the U.S., biomass fuels provided 46% of energy used in 2010. About 46% of that was wood and wood-derived biomass. 43% from bleh, from biofuels, mainly ethanol, and about 11% was from municipal waste. And that is all we have on environmental technology. Hope you learned something new.